This video is for the Americans watching. I love your country. It is fantastic. I thoroughly enjoy going there. But can I just ask for a second? Why is there a man with all of the dementia sprinkled in with a bit of Alzheimer's and possible brain damage, allegedly, in the White House. Why does someone's crazy granddad have access to the nuclear codes? And I know, I know what some of you people are thinking. Oh, Isaac, you're so right wing. You're so right wing. No! <laughs> it's got nothing to do with political leaning. This man's insane. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just people on the internet questioning Joe Biden, the leader of the free world's uh, intellectual abilities. This is a document from the special counsel that's looking into the classified document case that Biden was involved with that everyone had a crack at Trump about last year. And now no one seems to give a shit about it when Joe Biden does it. But anyway, in his interview with our office, Mr. Biden's memory was worse. He did not remember when he was vice president. That's terrifying. He also did not remember Remember, even within several years when his son Bo died. For some people, this is new information. For most of us though, the ones who are paying attention, it's not new at all. Let's have a look at the best of Crazy Joe Biden. Let's go late and lick the world. For Muslim, for we cheer for Muslim athletes like Kareem al, -Jub al -Jub and, and and Joan, Shingang, Shanga, Ban on transgender Americans, transgender Americans. The transgesters, now they are a group to watch. Very concerning, the transgesters. Thank you, thank you very oh, much. I appreciate it's great it. to have thank you. you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Don't go anywhere. It's <laughs> very exciting to escape. Here. Ladies and gents, this is just the start of some of the fantastic clips that come from Joe. And, and, and you know, to be fair, we all say things if we're on camera that, you know, may sound a bit silly and would perhaps make us look you know, like our memory is fading, but not as much as this dude. Right next to me. There you go. And then we're gonna have. There you go. Got it. Okay. And the people in the back. Yeah. See, this is before the memory started to fade. This is the the weird shit he does. Spread out a little bit. Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> oh, stop. Do you remember what I told you? Smile. No, not smile. No right. date till you're 30. All right. <laughs> hey, Angel, how old are you? 12. You're 12, what you did? How are you? The problem is, you know, you guys, you got a hard time. <laughs> yeah. Did you imagine if Trump did any of this? Fuck, man. All right, sister. <laughs> I like kids better than people. <laughs> I think my favorite clip of all of those is him talking about being in the pool and kids playing with his leg hair. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn. Uh, uh, um, Cannot confirm or deny if they are his legs, but go on. Blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. Okay, now that's, that's different, all right? Now it's not necessarily something you should be, you know, attacked for, but then you compare it with the, the kissing and the holding and the, it's just like, Joe, you fucking creep, can you not do any of that? What my dad used to say, your granddaughters have one important job. Ah, okay, okay, that's just creeping me out. Let's go back to the funny shit. People have fled guilty, you know, I, right, right, right after I was elected. This is from like last week. A, what they call a G7 meeting, all the NATO leaders. And it was in, it was in the south of England. And I sat down and I said, America's back. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean, from France looked at me and said, uh, said, you know, fuck me, leader of the free world. Now, he obviously sounds slow there, but the real horrifying thing is Mitterrand uh, was the French president between 1981 and 1995. He died in 1996, and Biden's talking about this in 2024 like he just met him last week. So either he's on a fucking Ouija board talking to old French presidents, or Joe has lost the plot. <laughs> Best way to get something done, if you... If it holds near and dear to you that you uh, 
um, like to be able to, anyway, <laughs> we're going to get a lot done. A great man to vote for. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope this doesn't affect my chances of being allowed into the United States because I am going there on tour this year. So please head to IsaacButterfield.com forward slash 2024 to sign up for tickets. Let me know where you are and you'll be the first people uh, with access to the tickets before they sell out. So that's fantastic. But please, Uncle Crazy fucking Joe, let me in. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Joe's on the move. Now he's just behind some dude's desk. Such shaking hands. Oh, this is a whole compilation of this. He just gets lost when he leaves a podium. Look at him. He's fucking terror. He doesn't know where he is. This is why people say that he's not actually running the country right now. Like he can't even get off the fucking stage, let alone run a country. Oh my god. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Dude, he has no idea where he is. Putin is losing the war. Thank you so much. No idea where he is. Where am I? I actually feel bad watching these, but then I remember that he is one of the most powerful people in the world, well, allegedly. America um, is a nation that can be defined in a single word. This will be good. I was going to put him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me. <laughs> America, if you vote him back in again this year, you're fucked. That is outrageous. Okay, here's one of my favorite clips of Joe Biden. I love it. It's beautiful to watch. And that's it. Short, sharp, and he fucking fell off his bike. It's hilarious. There's nothing better than seeing world leaders do dumb shit, all right? Just so happens with Joe, it's consistent and constant, but here he is showing that he is all better. That proves it, mate. That fucking proves it. You are cured of whatever's going on in your head. You're fucking cured. Something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because... Okay, so this is talking about the special counsel and the reason he hasn't been charged for these documents. The same thing that the entire mainstream media went after Trump for. His description, you are a well-meaning elderly man. And I'm not a Trump dude, all right? I'm just saying... If you're gonna go after one person for one thing, then you have to go after the people you support when they do the exact same thing. With a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. And it's How totally bad out. is your memory and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad I let you speak. That's a weird thing to say. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's your what, memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, president? Look, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become you president. You fucking thought you were talking to a dead French president two weeks ago, you crazy old <laughs> One thing I have noticed over the last couple of days is the fact that even mainstream news is starting to report on this, which is very, very weird. Now, over the past, what, three years or so of his presidency, the mainstream news basically hasn't said a bad thing about him. And you go on things like Twitter or Instagram, basically anywhere on the internet, you see these clips of him doing this weird shit and you think that's not presidential. But you never see it on the nightly news. And this is why news websites, like all of these listed, have really lost the faith of the public. And this is why they're all losing when it comes to ratings and dollars spent with them. But I did notice last week that the mainstream news is starting to report on Joe Biden's cognitive function. People are starting to report on this, which is absolutely crazy. This is the West Australian here in Australia, obviously, weekend at Biden's. That's hilarious. But it is just strange to me. It feels like something's starting to happen. I don't know what. But the New York Post then came up with this. By propping up Biden, Democrats are committing elder abuse and abusing the nation. So all of a sudden, they're starting to turn on Joe Biden. Now, this has been a bit of a conspiracy for some time that they're going to replace the nominee for the Democratic Party in the US election uh, before the election, uh, replace Biden uh, in the running against, well, who will probably be Trump. That's what it looks like is happening here. Who will it be? Some people are saying Michelle Obama, and I think it's good to have two dudes running against each other. But the thing is, it is just strange to see, number one, the news actually covering it, and now the news actually turning against him.
It really makes you think about all of the things that have happened throughout your lifetime, throughout my lifetime, that have come to, to us through the news that we've been lied to about, or has been molded a certain way propaganda, if you will, to make us believe a certain thing. There are probably so many things that I believe, that you believe, that we've been lied to about, that we take on as fact. I think, realistically, for America, uh, and I know I'm an Australian bringing this in from the outside, so fucking, who gives a shit what I think? For America to turn their country around, because I do love America, I wish America, I've got a t-shirt that says, make America like Texas. For America to turn their country around, they need to change a lot of things, and it starts at the top. But I just think the status quo and the control of the media over the population and over the government will never allow America to be repaired. So this is my question to you in the comment section. What will America look like in the next 10 years? What will happen to this superpower? Will it crumble? Will it become more powerful than ever before? Or will it remain the same? Will it continue into this, what we're looking at at the moment, like almost like a civil war state? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't fucking know. I'm just an Australian. All I can say is thank fuck we're not dealing with this shit in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, mid extincts. To Lou Avoir, bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this fantastic video by me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, some very important news. I am going on a world tour in 2024. If you are in the USA, the UK, Australia, or New Zealand, or any other part of the world, make sure you sign up for tickets at isaacbutterfield.com. And as soon as they become available, you will get an email. You'll be able to get them straight away, and you won't miss out. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Once again, see you next time. Bye.